I think I think we had enough. I think we do have enough. Um, it sucks because like you don't know who's gonna be on a roster any given year. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to play with the guys that I did have the opportunity to play with, and it's been like that every year that I've played in the league. Uh, so we had enough. Um, next year, we will have enough, and we're gonna be right back in the same situation, and uh, we're gonna get it done. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Wynn. We're back again with another video. And y'all know what we're about to get into. Y'all should all can see from the previous clip. The Miami Heat are going to the NBA Finals. Because they eliminated the Boston Celtics in seven games. Now, we're going to get all the credit in the world to the Miami Heat. They deserve it. They the first eighth seed. I think one of the first eighth seeds in NBA history to make it to the NBA Finals. And they had a long stretch where they did it without Tyler Hero, without Victor Oladipo. They lost the playing game to the Atlanta Hawks. And they almost lost the Chicago Bulls playing game. And the fact that they were able to get to this far says, said that a lot about not just this team, but this organization. Red, led by Pat Riley, one of the best in the game. Eric Spolster, the coach, the best coach in the game. Jimmy Butler. The best playoff performer in the game right now. There's no argument there. And then you got all these great role players, a.k.a. Caleb Martin. Where did he come from? This brother is going crazy. He could have damn near won the Eastern Conference Finals MVP. The whole team is playing amazing. Uh, let's, not miss, let's, let's not forget about Gabe Vincent. Let's not forget about Duncan Robinson. Just coming and re reliving his career, really. The three-point shots he's been making this whole playoffs. And the key fact that he's been off the bench. Amazing. This group deserves to be in the NBA Finals. Now, they got a tough task versus Denver Nuggets. But we're going to get into that in the next video. Today, y'all see the title. We're going to talk about the Boston Celtics. Now, the Boston Celtics almost made history. Almost. See, they was down 3-0. Arguably, not even arguably. They shouldn't even been down 3-0. With this talent they have on this team, it was the series was basically over. The fact that they came back on a lucky, you know, a miracle tip in by Derek White, who's basically the best player on the Boston Celtics this whole series. Boston just they like I said in this title. They're the most inconsistent team in the NBA. There's a couple reasons. One, they live and die by the three. If they're shooting good, over 40%, they'll win. But if they keep shooting like they did last night, they're going to lose every game. Another thing, they don't know who the closer is. They don't know who to get the ball to when it's, when it's down the stretch. Either Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown. That's two. Three, after Jason Tatum got hurt, it's obvious Jalen Brown is not used to being the number one option on a team. So, right now, I'm going to discuss a little bit about Jalen Brown if they if the Boston Celtics should decide to keep him or trade him. But, in my opinion, this duo does not work. They have no chemistry. They have no flow. It's literally one on one every time. I see it every game. It's literally one on one. Now Jason Tatum's been he's been he's Jason Tatum for a reason. Okay. And his injury starting the game had a lot to do with how the income came out in game seven. But that doesn't mean that this team is not inconsistent without Jason without Jason Tatum. This team doesn't have a foundation in my opinion. They don't they need a true point guard. And I've been saying this for the longest. They need a true point guard. Their point guard is either Derrick White or Marcus Smart. That's not gonna cut it. That's not gonna cut it. 
that puts a lot more pressure on Marcus Smart to make plays, and that puts a lot more pressure to Derek White to carry this team. And you asking Derek White? Yeah. You asking him to carry the team? It's not going to work. They need a point guard. So if they're going to trade Jalen Brown, try to get Damian Lillard. And I've been saying this for Miami to try to get Damian Lillard. But that's the my, Boston has the most most to offer for Dame for Portland because you know Portland trying to trade away that number three pick because you know they moved up to get the number number three pick and now Damian Lillard they don't know if they want to keep him or not because you know he's getting up in the age and I, I, Damian Lillard is getting tired of being in Portland. He loves Portland. He loves that city, but he wants to win a ring too. He wants to be as low as possible, but the time and place to, you know, to, to say to yourself, you're getting tired of that. So, Jalen Brown is the best option. And I believe if Dame came to Boston, they would be in the finals. They would be in the finals. I have no doubt in my mind, Dame and Jason Tatum with the same core around, now you probably have to you obviously have to pay, trade probably some, more, some first round picks if you have it. They get Dame with that in that package, or some some other key role players. Maybe Grant Williams. They might want Derrick White. That's gonna be a huge loss, or Malcolm Brogdon. But still, I just if they keep the rest of the foundation around them, they will be in the finals. It's just them two right there. They have no chemistry, and it's basically one on one action. Now let's get to the rest of the team. Including Joe Mazzula, who I'm going to get credit to. Being down 3-0, the, the galvanize this team and, you know, be the leader and tell, tell this team, like, this ain't, this ain't over until it's over. And bring this team, lead this team back to Game 7, it's, it's impressive. I don't think he should be getting that much criticized, to be, be honest. Now, I didn't like his press game conference uh, answers when he talking about, you know, live and die by the three and shoot by the three. He keeps shooting? No. 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 But give him another shot. Give, give Joe Mosdul another shot. This is literally his first year after they – and I, basically not even a whole year. They fired Emi Doka basically the start of the season. So – I would give him another shot and see what he can do with this team. He just he's just starting. He's not have that he only had that much experience as an assistant coach. Only three years. So I believe Joe Mazzula did a good job and not a great job. I believe Joe Mazzula needs to work on getting his team more disciplined. Meaning can't have too many turnovers. When they get turnovers, you gotta be in a face like, yo, man, you gotta stop turning the damn ball over. And Jalen Brown not being Used to being the number one option, he he was turning the ball over left and right. But Joe Mazzola was being looked like he was cool with it. It's it's not going to work like that next season, man. Now you, you got to do everything y'all in y'all power to build around Jason Tatum. Al Horford's old, so he might try to come back one more year, a couple more years. But Rob Williams is a key factor for y'all team. Y'all need to work on. More plays in the offseason. Better plays. Not no one-on-one action. Y'all need to work more on team ball. And that's why why y'all need a point guard. Y'all don't need have y'all don't need to have Marcus Smart driven the ball up the court every time. Same thing with Derek White or Malcolm Brodden. No, y'all need a true point guard. Or at least a sniper. And it's just Damian Lillard. That's literally our best option. Getting Malcolm Brown was it was a good pickup, but still doesn't really cut it for what y'all need in a starting lineup for Jason Tatum to flourish even more, to get off ball screens, to get it off, play off ball instead of spacing up versus the defender one on one action. You're not gonna win like that. Ask James Harden. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Boston, y'all are. Most up and down team I've ever seen. Picks and flows. Y'all look like the best team in the NBA, and then y'all look like y'all don't win. Y'all ain't not even trying. Couple games, a lot of games in the series. The loss versus the Hawks in Game Five. 
There was losses versus Philly in that series, in game one. And then this series. Y'all just gave game three away. Boston, I got a lot to think about this offseason. Do y'all want to keep Jalen Brown, give him ascension, or do y'all want to trade and try to get Damian Lillard? Definitely build around Jason Tatum. He ain't going nowhere. The rest of the team, I don't know. That's all I got today for this video, man. If y'all enjoyed, give your boy a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. It's me, your boy, Will, and I'm out.